a huge chunk of the Earth's crust is missing, and experts think they know why. A large chunk of the Earth's equivalent to a billion years of rock formation is missing from our planet's crust. Scientists finally understand why this happened. It's by Sean Martin Express UK. We're also going to be reading from the IFL science section. Scientists have known for some time there's a huge gap in our planet's geological record. It's known as the Great Unconformity, but had been unable to explain this. The Great Unconformity starts around 540 million years ago, at the beginning of the Cambrian period, and stretches back more than a billion, a billion years before this. And during this time, scientists believe there's a missing layer of Earth's crust that was left it's left no fossil evidence behind. But now experts believe they have the answer to this. During this time, Earth went through a huge period of time known as Snowball Earth, a lengthy ice age. Scientists from the University of California believe that during this time, huge chunks of the Earth were ground down by long-standing glaciers, which eventually melted away into oceans and into the planet's core through subduction zones and gaps between tectonic plates. According to the research published in journal PNAS, the loss equates to rock which would now be 1.9 to 3.1 million miles deep, and it has been destroyed. Study lead author Bernan Keller, a postdoctorate fellow at Berkeley Geochronology Center, said, I think we have extraordinary evidence to support that extraordinary claim. And the paper says, it has long been observed that the sequence of sedimentary rock deposited in the past half billion years often sharply overlies older igneous or metamorphic basement at an erosional surface known as the Great Unconformity. Quote, we provide evidence that this unconformity may record rapid erosion during neo- Proterozoic snowball earth glaciations. While often deeply buried, the great unconformity is exposed in areas of relief such as the Grand Canyon of the southwestern United States where it was first recognized. The co author Bill Botke, a planetary scientist and asteroid expert at the Southwest Research Institute in Boulder, Colorado, said Earth does a really good job at erasing the tracks of the past. And this is why geologists have been puzzled for over a hundred years by this great unconformity. Enormous lapse of time missing from the geological record. And now the paper says that it's explained by the snowball earth. It was produ the production of this astonishing glacial erosion during that period when almost the entire planet was covered with ice. A nonconformity is a break in the sedimentary record, such as when the age of rocks jumps sharply because one set of rocks eroded away before being covered by those younger rocks. And one example was noticed in 1869 in the Grand Canyon, and subsequent records found it repl replicated around the world in rocks of similar age, earning the name of the Great Unconformity. The authors of this new study calculated that due to the glacial erosion, a global average of three to five kilometers, that's two to three miles of rocks, were stripped away, hence missing from the record. Even though the great unconformity is not seen everywhere on Earth, and the span of missing time varies where it does, Dr. Bernard Keller of the Berkeley Geochronology Center says in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, its scale is truly enormous. Before 500 years ago, we have approximately 0.2 cubic kilometers, that's 0.05 cubic miles of preserved sedimentary rock for each year of the Earth's existence. And after this, jumps to one cubic kilometer or 0.2 cubic miles, rather than the great gradual increase we would model as we get closer to today, and Keller and colleagues calculate an astonishing 1 billion cubic kilometers, that's 200 million cubic miles, of pre-Cambrian material is missing 
beyond what would be expected. Either the authors argue sedimentation increased dramatically in the start of the Phanerozoic era, or there was much greater erosion beforehand. They present evidence for the latter, showing crystals from the relevant era have isotopes of hafnium and oxygen, consistent with being eroded from old rock and deposited at low temperatures. The phenomenal spike in erosion rates would also explain why we know of many asteroid impact craters less than 700 million years old, but only two older than that. Between 717 and 580 million years ago, the Earth went through a series of dramatic glaciations that make the recent ice ages look like minor chills. Even at the equator, the equator, the planet was covered with ice that was often piled higher than the tallest skyscraper. That's amazing, astonishing. Even at the equator, the authors proposed these mighty glaciers score, scoured the sedimentary rocks of previous eras and washed them out to sea, producing the great unconformity. They argue the rate of erosion required is quite consistent with what that is seen in modern Greenland. So if this theory is correct, it not only explains one of geology's most enduring mysteries, but it supports the developing theory that the appearance of the first animals soon after the snowball earth was no coincidence. Instead, the nutrient pulse delivered so much, uh, by much, so much erosion created the conditions for complex life forms to survive. This is on IFL Science. I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.